Okay, fellow Tarnish, welcome back <clears throat> to the playthrough of Elden Ring with Justin Graymere, the Bear in the Blue Hills, Pure Mage, dual caster wheel. Wow, look at my thigh muscles. All right, that's interesting. Um, let me start by showing you my stats. As I promised, here they are, working to get... Um, 99 intelligence and then I will level up vigor mind individually and I'm actually going to go level up and change my spells around in terms of equipment I am going to make a change hey I don't have any of these as a talisman as well shoot that's I just fought my uh, mimic tier and cheese them okay so I'm going to change this to uh, loose sets and one of the things loose sets will do is will increase the power of well besides looking cool it will increase the power of star shower Elden stars I think and glenstone stars um, so let me <clears throat> See if I can upgrade here. And um, my my humidifier just came back on, so let me rest here. Give me a second to turn off my humidifier. There we go. <clears throat> that should be better. I did have it. I don't notice it when it comes on. It's a dehumidifier. And I had a user actually mention they could hear it in the background. So I turned it off. Okay. Got that going. Uh, speaking of comments and interacting, uh, please do a like and subscribe. If you will that helps the channel and uh let's look at the spells um i think i'm gonna keep i might keep it the way it is here's the thing this spell here Stars of Ruin should do a lot more damage if fires 12 as opposed to 6. But these are a lot more haphazard. That costs 37. This costs 27. Um... So in my testing actually the stars of ruin doesn't don't track as well but maybe i could get rid of ambush shard i think i'm going to use ambush shard though i'm going to try it with the uh archers over the mystical city or whatever it's called Well, that's not what I wanted to do. All right. I'll just I'll keep it the same. <clears throat> so anyway, speaking of commas, um, well, first of all, I've got uh, Lusat's helmet on. It's cool looking, but what it does is it will do increase... Oh, shoot, I forgot to do this. It'll increase the um, amount of focus points it takes to cast spells by 15% and 
this thing here, I believe it reduces it by 15%, but it costs me some stamina. And the next one is going to be the Scorpion Charm, which makes me a lot easier to damage, but it, it raises my magic attack. And in this one, we're going to do... Um, You know, we're gonna, we're gonna make it so the charge spells cost less. Now, I notice that it's taking me up into a heavy load if I do that. Um, and f what I'm gonna do in the consecrated snowfield, there's a rise that I'm gonna get the graven mass talisman that great increases sorceries. But I'm gonna have to um, change this up so that I'm not a heavy. That's probably not going to be. That's medium. Omen killer boots. Vulgar militia greaves. And then let's change this. Hmm. Let's see. Point nine Citrix. All right. Uh, yeah, that's good enough drip and uh, and also good enough uh, configuration. So what we're gonna do here? This is actually one of my least favorite um, places. It's just. It's sort of annoying with all the fog, and plus it's a little bit boring in a way. At any rate, <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to follow these lights, and it'll lead us around to different places. Uh, one of the things I want to get, which well, I can't see yet, up in, I think it's going to be, oh, I'm guessing probably up in about this area. There's a, that's the rise I need to go up to get my groove on, if you will. Not with my groove, it's, it's to get the Graven Mass Talisman. What do you got to say, ghosty? Come on, spit it out. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we're going to follow the gentle lights. Do you hear me? Ooh. It's hey, Lieutenant. Lieutenant. We have reached the land of Mikla's Halic Tree. My Lobo and I began our travels. It's entirely thanks to you that I'm so close to home. These great snow-laden lands stretch far to the north, and beyond the ancient bowers, in the liturgical town of Ordna, lies the place to which I must return. Well, hey, Lieutenant. I'll take you over there, don't worry. All right, there's the grace. So beyond here, it can get a little tricky because you can't see very well. And I do remember <laughs> there's a dude out here that's acting like a just a regular like villager guy, uh, but it's actually a rune bear, and he will ruin your day in many ways i this is where we're going to get attacked by the albinoric and wolves i think yeah hopefully just stay away from me hey well there's that there's a there's a snail right there and there. All right. So this is the challenge of this area is it's very 
Very hard to see. Hey, there's somebody. Dung beetle. Somers with his stone eight. I think the wolves are very upset with me. Um. Get him taken care of. There's a caravan around here somewhere, but I. Wondering if up here. Is the catacombs. Yeah, I'm not careful. Oh, there's the. Off the Fido. Oh, there's a. Oh, shoot. Saw that coming. Always got to watch your magic, your focus points. We're fixing to raid the uh I thought I would have made him have a critical break by now. All right, this one I'm just going to go. This will give me a critical. Take that, you scalawag. I think he's mad. Oh well. Nice try, troll. So, one of the things that is troubling is finding your way to certain things. Same thing as torch. I'm not sure exactly what that does for me. What I want to do... Yeah, I'm trying to find the... Uh, catacombs. If not, if I'm not careful... I will run into Big Red Wolf up here. They don't really want to. There's a snail. Take that and another snail. There's another couple of snails. I don't know why there's ice snails. Um, something tells me this will let me fall to my death. No, maybe not. It's facing the wrong way, though. So I'm going to keep to this side. 
I don't even remember what's in the catacombs up here, and I'm going to guess it's not going to be worth it. Why are you shooting stuff at me? You should know better, homie. Take that. Oh, I see you. Wolves in the mist. You just jumped straight back. Not effective, sir. Old Fang. I think I'm going to run into the red wolf up here. Hmm. Well, this is what I don't really like about this area. Let's see what these lights are. It's just hard to find a direction. Uh, so anyway, uh, conversation <laughs> I started talking about uh, when I first started the video. That guy's running away. It had to do with, uh... I thought like it wanted an ambush. But it had to do with comments and stuff. I appreciate you guys commenting. And, um... You know, the interaction. That's what I really like about having a channel. And so, um... Had some people... Uh, confirmed the commenting session is now working is working again all right that'll head straight to it um, so that's good uh, got a comment from my old buddy this watcher and um, I did have a user I think it's uh, maybe all gaming something like that very nice to hear from him and he had suggested that he would like to see a pure faith playthrough next, which I, you know, I'm more than happy to do. I want to finish this up first. Uh, oh, I thought that was uh, an enemy or something. Oh, he's pointing north of that. So I think that that would be. Pretty fun. I was going to do a quality playthrough next, which was the, uh, you know, uh, strength and dexterity build, like your regular sort of swashbuckler person with the, you know, sword and shield. So I thought I might do that, but, uh, you know, he had mentioned he'd like to see a pure faith build. And I think he, what he mentioned was pure faith with um, just casting incantations. So I thought that might be pretty fun. I'm thinking I'll probably go through and play some sort of lightning-based build that will, uh, I don't know, well, I guess use lightning and, and stuff. Probably some, some dragon breath. Um, Radon becomes a lot more, well, not a lot more. It, it beca Radon becomes almost trivial when you have insects decay. So, anyway, I'm interested to hear what people think about that, doing a 
a uh, dual cast faith build. I'm also inter interested in hearing if anybody wants anything else. I'm open to any comments, any sort of um, ideas that can make the channel better and so forth. So, <clears throat> at any rate, we're going to end here. When I come back, I'll I'll clear out the consecrated snowfields catacomb. Although I don't really remember what's in it or if it has any bearing on me. We'll clear it out anyway. All right, please click a like and subscribe. And, um, you know, thank you for watching.